Last week, the California State Teachers Retirement System, or CalSTRS, which represents more than 850,000 teachers in California, made a strong statement about guns. It announced it would be divesting itself of its stakes in gun companies that make assault weapons, including Freedom Group, which makes the Bushmaster semi-automatic rifle used to kill 20 children and six adults in Newtown. In a statement, Calster said this latest incident, which occurred at a school and involved fellow educators and the children we cherish, is a tipping point for Calsters and speaks to the correctness of our actions. It appears the shooting has become a tipping point for other pension funds, too. Several states are reviewing their holdings in gun manufacturers. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel has also made a bold decision when it comes to guns. I've ordered all the Chicago pension funds to check any of their investments. And we're going to, if they have it, we're going to divest uh, of any uh, investments they have in any gun manufacturer. Rommel Dionisio is an analyst who covers gun maker Smith & Wesson. You know, certainly this has caused a negative downward pressure on some of these uh, gun companies like Stern Ruger and uh, Smith & Wesson as well. And uh, this is a, a trend we expect to continue, certainly with public sentiment after the Newtown tragedies. Dionisio says assault rifles have been one of the fastest growing categories of the firearms industry and are highly profitable. If they were shunned, that would be a big blow to their business. U.S. pension funds have removed tobacco companies from their stock holdings and have shied away from oil and energy investments in Iran. It was in the mid-1970s that U.S. pension funds began considering the social, environmental and political conflicts when it comes to their investment strategies. Well, now it seems the new taboo investment may be guns. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.